Welcome back to another video. Today I bring you sort of a DIY style for some witchy and autumn themed bags. Um, originally they were going to be tarot bags, but things, you know, like when you do crafts, things get a little bit eh and they don't come out exactly how you plan them to. So this one, since it's not really sewing, it's just a quick using hot glue gun sort of thing. Um, that's why they come out kind of eh, but I think the end result's pretty good. Just make sure when you're measuring for whatever item you're gonna be using to place in the bag that they are, um, the fabric you use, you have enough extra room, like wiggle room for the item to actually go in the bag. So here is the first baggie. Um, obviously it's a lot taller. I was originally trying to make it for this one, but like I said, I didn't give it enough wiggle room. So now only the smaller one can fit in. Um, but I'm sure, like, these can be used for something just a little bit taller. Maybe, like, a candle or something like that would be cute. Um, also, this one, this little baggie um, I just made for jewelry. I ran out of ribbon, so I had to use some string. But, you know, it looks a lot better if you use ribbon, as you can tell. Anyways, um, I, would, I would recommend using ribbon for these and also make sure you're getting good sizes. It, you know, after the first try, I think I'll be able to make some now that are actual oracle and tarot sized, so everything fits well. Let me give you a closer look on both of these baggies and then how I made them. you're gonna need are some sort of fabric or mesh uh, depending on what you want I got these from the dollar store for a dollar each and they're kind of witchy Halloween themed you are gonna need some hot glue and then the actual glue for the hot glue hopefully plenty scissors some sort of ribbon mine has shimmies on the end of this one um, or if you don't have ribbon, you can just as easily use some string um, and just kind of double it up so there's extra, I guess, whatever for it. Since I only have enough ribbon for one, possibly, uh, for these oracle slash tarot bags, um, you know, I, I really don't have that much left. I'm going to be using string for the other one until I can get new ribbon. And lastly, you're going to need a little a little needle, preferably one with one of the balls on the end, so that way you can lead it through the, um, what do you call it, your little bag hole thing. Anyways, let's make the thing. Alright, first I'm going to take the mesh out and figure out how much I want to use depending on how big your oracle deck is. On each of the sides I'm going to fold them in a little bit and put some hot glue gun so it'll stay and you're going to do this all the way down except for the very ends. You're going to do this for both sides, so not just one. Alright, now we're going to start creating the actual bag. So on both sides that you have glued down, you're going to put some hot glue right in the middle, so that way you can create your bag. Like I said, what you do for one side, you will do for the other. Alright, now we are going to 
see where the ribbon portion is going to go. So you place a piece of ribbon in the middle just to kind of see how much loop room you need. Um, and you're going to glue on the corner underneath the ribbon so you make sure you don't glue the ribbon down. Make sure you leave that little loop there. And you're gonna glue the corners of each side. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I actually cut some of the portion because there was too much fabric. Um, so I cut it down to where right underneath the ribbon where I would need to and then glued that portion down, making sure not to glue the ribbon. You're going to do that to the other side. And I didn't actually show how you do the string part, but I will leave a video below that teaches you how to do the string on both sides. Now obviously my other tarot deck didn't fit because I made it too small, so we just used the other one. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love!